Hi and welcome to another episode of Too Long Didn't Read. This is a series of videos where I give you summaries and discuss articles which I find most important to crypto. Today I'll be talking about analysis of Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559. And this is an article by Hasu and Georgios Konstantopoulos. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and have a look at the links in the description below which will save you some money on trading fees on, on the major exchanges. So Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559 will be the largest change to how users bid for block space in any of the major blockchains. It has been already accepted many months ago. EIP 1559 has four design goals better user experience and user interface. All transactions will pay the same base fee rate. Hopefully this will lead to lower fees due to better fee estimation. The second goal is Slack mechanism, which would allow some blocks to be larger as long as the others are smaller and that would allow for variation across individual blocks. And the third goal is better security. Um, the transaction fees are burned not given to the miners as as used to happen before that makes the perpetual block subsidy which is hard coded into a kind of e ethereum social contract and it will help number go up so it will help ethereum appreciate in value this is my post where i um talk about uh, eip proposal it has been uh, submitted in october 18 that is uh, at the point where the bubble has burst. So Ethereum went to 1400 and then it went down. And this proposal was submitted with the uh, fee burning, which is a deflationary um, force. Um, it has been submitted after the bubble has burst. And you know this is a mechanism helping the number go up. Um, the fourth design goal is it enforces um, that transactions burn a specific amount of Ethereum. It makes sure that users don't pay for transactions in some other currency other than Ethereum. So, for example, US dollars on the website of the miners completely outside the protocol. So, um, this proposal introduces base fee and the gas premium. So the minimum fee is called base fee and every transaction has to pay it and it is variable and it is being burnt. It doesn't go to the miner. The gas premium is a bid for inclusion. It's an auction just like on Bitcoin or current Ethereum. The fee cap is a maximum fee for base fee plus gas premium and the base fee is variable. This is why fee cap is um, helpful. So you can set a low fee cap and then wait for a cheaper block um, and you'll have a block with a low base fee in the future. This prevents creation of the off-chain fee market. Elastic block size cap. So miners can periodically exceed the block size cap in order to react to burst demand. The limitations are, and here I'll use different um, naming system than Hasu has used. So Hasu has mentioned uh, 10 million gas limits. Uh, however, uh, later on at the bottom in the article, he mentions that actually this has been changed and this uh, can be, well, this will be minor voted. So it won't be 10, 10 million or 20 million. So the long term target voted by miners, we can call as 1x. And then there will be a hard ceiling, which is maximum a kind of block size uh, amount of gas per, per block, which will be 2x. So the block size limitations are long term target of 1x and the hard ceiling of 2x, which is twice bigger than the long term target. Blocks respond to demand with a changing size. Miners are discouraged from creating large blocks to gain the target block size mechanism because base fee introduces mandatory burn for every transaction. So if they submit spam, they'll have to pay for it. Base fee is adjusted over time. So, sorry, base fee is adjusted over time. Um, transacting becomes more or less expensive to target the desired block size. Let's analyze the state of no congestion. And in that state, the blocks are below the maximum cap of 2x gas. So below the, um, below the hard cap. The base fee and the minimum tip should get you into the next block, should get your transaction included. Um, you can set a low fee cap and then no gas premium to wait for a block with a, a low base fee. In a situation with occasional congestion, 
um, and this is when um, the blocks are above 1x gas so above the long-term target for the block size um, in that case base fee uh, will continue to rise until a block uh, with size below 1x is mined then it will go down this is a nice chart um, created by um, well added to the article and it shows that uh, at the ethereum price of 240 a typical transaction costs um you know tiny fraction of a dollar it's 0 0.0005 dollar after 10 blocks of 2x gas so hard hard cap limit um the transaction will cost 0 0.02 of a dollar and that's 40 times a typical transaction cost after 100 blocks at the ceiling of the maximum size single transaction will cost 657 dollars after 30 minutes of maximum demand it's 1000 dollars so the rise is exponential in a period of extended congestion the larger blocks are uh, only allowed for a short period of time and in that case uh, the base fee will go down only when blocks below 1x are mined so it can take a long while uh, hopefully high fee will discourage users from having their transactions uh, submitted another aspect of this proposal is better security so bitcoin could run into trouble funding security budget when the block subsidy is low or completely gone and the fees are low users could have to wait for many confirmations for their transactions to be safe and um, not susceptible to um, rewriting the history forking etc ethereum has promised perpetual inflation and it is baked into the social contract and that will ensure the stability uh, well that will ensure a stable and sustainable security budget the fee burn makes it more palatable and helps the number go up it is a deflationary force and it's you know like quantitative hardening the term invented by crypto people um, and another feature of this proposal is it prevents economic abstraction so before this proposal transaction fees didn't have to be paid in ethereum you could have paid um, miners on their website in US dollars and this can happen on Bitcoin at the moment um, with the proposal um, it would not be possible because there will be mandatory burn for every transaction and that burn has to be in Ethereum um, at the moment it is mandatory um, to, to pay for example IRS the tax bills in US dollars and this is what helps uh, to keep uh, US dollar valuable possible problems uh, with the base fee near zero miners can collude and not mine blocks above one x gas and then nothing gets burnt no well almost no base fee gets burnt and all the fees which go in the form of gas premium go to miners and it only requires one miner to kind of break that stall and mine a big block for the base fee to rise excluding this uh, bigger blocks and keeping uh, blocks small would require a 51 percent attack so in summary um, eip 1559 makes fees more product uh, more predictable um, however i think the, the most important part is it burns fees and you know to me this is hands down the most important feature it just makes the number go up uh, Vitalik says it is possible for inflation to be minus 1%, which is essentially deflation at 1%. This mechanism, together with reduced issuance, uh, which is not yet set in stone, um, you know, the issuance um, will vary in the future. So this can help uh, Ethereum to appreciate in value, especially if Ethereum lands in some serious trouble, price goes down, and it will just help keeping the hodlers rich thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up have a look at the links in the description below uh, comment subscribe um, thanks for watching